Hello, everyone, and welcome to this first concert in our 2024 Cosmopolis Festival. Uh, I'm Timothy Page from the music faculty here at HKUST, uh, and we're thrilled to present uh, the Chris Carpio Quartet tonight. So Chris Carpio and his quartet um, are both fixtures and rising stars in the Hong Kong jazz scene. Uh, they represent a vanguard of Filipino musicians, uh, jazz musicians working here in the city. And Chris and his brother Bernard, uh, who's playing saxophone tonight, are also members of a legendary musical family in Hong Kong with a, a presence in the jazz scene that goes back decades. So we're very excited to have them perform at our Cosmopolis Festival, whose mission is, among other things, to celebrate Hong Kong as a meeting point of local and international musical talent. Um, before we get to the music, just a couple of things. Chris Carpio is actually coming back to campus next week on Wednesday to give a talk about his life as a jazz musician in Hong Kong. Uh, that's going to be moderated by ethnomusicologist Dr. Mercedes DiJunco. He's also going to lead an improvisation workshop for students. So if you're interested in either of these events, uh, check out the program book or go on to our festival website for more details. And while you're at it, definitely look at the other upcoming events in our festival. We have a very exciting lineup this spring. <coughs> um, lastly, I'd like to give a huge thanks to Shaw Auditorium Unit for their great work producing this event. Uh, and a very special thanks to Dean Kelly Tsai of the School of Humanities and Social Sciences. So the Cosmopolis Festival was in a way Dean Tsai's brainchild when she proposed to the music faculty some years ago that we create a multi-genre music festival that would be incorporated into our music curriculum. Uh, sadly, she is going to be leaving HKUST in actually just over a week and this is going to be her last Cosmopolis Festival concert. So very big thanks to Dean Tsai for her support of our festival. Um, without further ado, I think we can get to the music. Uh, let's everybody give a very warm welcome to the Chris Carpio Quartet.
Thank you so much for everyone for coming. Thank you. Before we continue, on drums all the way from Taiwan, Fish Wang. On bass, originated from the Philippines, but making Hong Kong his home, Jezreel Lucero. My brother, not from another mother. Yes, we may look different, but we were once similar. Bernard Carpio on saxophone. And my name's Chris Carpio. Thank you so much for coming. Today's lecture, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Today's performance. We're going to explore about modern jazz. And essentially, we're going to play our renditions of some of our favorites, some special songs and things like that, and everything in between. But to give you guys a little bit of background, my brother and I are both 
third generation jazz musician, growing, growing born and raised in Hong Kong. Our grandfather was a world renowned banjo player who was originated in Shanghai pre-war and then came to Hong Kong in the 1950s. And the thing about him is he was an accountant by day and musician by night. So you know what that means, stay in school. <laughs> Our father came with him and his name was Tony Carpio. Fantastic and thank you very much. So Tony Carpio was a world class guitar player, arranger, performer and everything in between and performed with some of the best musicians from, from the States and all around the world. And as well as that, we have our mom here, Rosalie Carpio, wherever you are. So we grew up in a busy household and we were exposed to all different kinds of music. But one thing our dad always said was, jazz was always his passion, but pop paid the bills. <laughs> so we try to do both. Going into our next song, we're gonna play a really classic 1970s funk song by the one and only legend Herbie Hancock. This one's called Chameleon. Whoa. Take it away, Jez. Bow, 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 bow,
I'm going to let the guys take a short break for a second. Just, just stay where you are, okay? Don't run away. <laughs> okay, well, you can have a quick tuning session for like five seconds, okay? You're supposed to do that before the show, not during the show, remember? Ah, okay. He, he has a lot of excuses, but we forgive him because he's very incredible. Okay, so I'd like to change the mood for a second. I, I want to perform a song that I've never performed in public before. It's a special project that I put together in 2019, and I'm hoping to release the music later this year. The thing when it comes to writing music for myself, I think it's very important not to set boundaries to how you create music, and it's, it's so important to let the music take you where it needs to go. And this is one of a few songs from my solo piano project that I will figure out when it will be out there on Spotify in some, some point this year, but this song is called your touch.
Thank you so much. That was another original called Layback. The next two songs we're going to play are some jazz classics that we've reimagined. When it comes to arranging a song, it's, it's really important not to lose the essence of what the music is actually about. To kind of put it a different way, it's not like putting pineapple on a pizza. Yes, you can reimagine it. 
but you've got to stay true to the core values. For those of you who want to have the discussion, sorry, for those of you who want to have the discussion about pineapple on pizza, you can come to my talk next week and we can uh, fully debate it out. But in the meantime, we're going to play two, two jazz classics. These are called Night in Tunisia and Nardis. Fish, you want to take it away on this one?
On bass, Jezra Lucero. On drums, Fish Huang. On saxophone, Bernard Carpio. And my name is Chris Carpio. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm very lucky to be standing here with these guys on stage. We've been playing together for over seven years. We've toured Asia together. We've had a lot of very stupid experiences. Yeah, you should ask some of them afterwards if you want to find out some. It's probably not right for a concert. Um, and in 2020, I'm just waiting for this thing to pop up in the back, we started our band, Soul Funk Tape. Yeah. Last year, we released our album in 2020. Uh, and we released our album called Birth of the Ape, which you can find on Spotify. And we really encourage you guys to listen to our Spotify. And let me explain something. You see this little pocket in my, in my uh, pants here? Do you know what this pocket is for? This pocket is for, for our Spotify money that we make. So every click matters. <laughs> I think you guys have heard enough of me talk, but uh, Fish, I got a question for you. What is modern jazz to you? Modern jazz? Modern jazz. Um, in a joking way or a, a serious way? Um, <laughs> it, you can go wherever you like, Fish. It's, it's completely up to you. Okay, since it's at school, so I try to be professional. Um, so modern jazz is, uh, since we grew up listening to a lot of like, modern music, for example, like hip hop, reggae, I mean, even canto pop, because jazz music is actually uh, got a, around like 80 years, or, no, no, 100 years. We're history, getting old right? fish. There's a lot of history of jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So, so uh, we grew up listening to like modern music. So that's why when we play, jazz is no longer like. Yeah, we, 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 we didn't grow up like that, right? We grew up like listening to Andy Lau or Ethan. No, just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, actually that influenced our playing. So we got some, um, the way we play may, might uh, remind you about some hip hop element, reggae element, Latin element. So that's my definition of modern jazz. It's like everything, yeah. And if you want to see Andy Lau, Fish is actually playing with Andy Lau. Oh, yeah, sure. So you, you can look for him when you watch Andy Lau's concert. Yeah. But one big part big about, our, uh, about our Soul Funk Ape is we wanted to kind of show everybody's influence and all our backgrounds into the music. So we're going to stick with that theme of playing some of our original music. For the next three songs, we're going to play A Little Bird, You're the Worst, and another song called El Rapido. But before I play, we're going to play this song a little bit differently to the album or to our Spotify link or Apple Music or wherever you'd like to click and follow us online. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, the original way I wrote, for, so sorry, let me give a little backstory. This weird keyboard thing that's full of rubber here, it, it's very weird, it's very interesting, and the way that I have to create music with this is I have to think outside of the box. And when I created this song, I actually got inspired to play like a guitarist. And I wanted to say to my dad, I'm really sorry I didn't learn the guitar. <laughs> but I really hope that this is okay for you. <laughs> so we're gonna play Little, Bur Little Bird in a slightly different version than we usually do. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, everybody. Before we play our last song, I want to say a big thank you to HKUSC for inviting us here. Thank you, HKUSC. Thank you, special thank you to Tim Mercedes for, for facilitating this. A uh, big thank you to the Shaw Auditorium team. Big thank you to Arrow Productions for all the sound. Sorry, I'm a little bit tired from that song, as you can imagine. Woo. Yes, exactly. I, think, I don't think it was a wise idea to work out today, Jess. <laughs> I want to say a big thank you to my bandmates on stage. Let's give it again. Bernard Carpio on saxophone. <laughs> Fish Wong on drums. <laughs> Jesu Lucero on bass. <laughs> big thank you to my family, my mom, my girlfriend, Carol, my niece and nephew who are around here somewhere. And a huge thank you to everybody here for coming and supporting live music and live jazz. We need to show the world that Hong Kong has live jazz and we need to kick ass. So I wanna kind of finish off with the, what is the answer, what is modern jazz? I think more importantly, what is music? I think that's the bigger question. For us growing up, listening to our parents perform, I was playing in a rock band in school. We played classical music in orchestra, play, performing with pop artists, and finally creating my own music. I think what it comes down to, hold on, I have the punchline here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> music has no boundaries. Yeah. In jazz, we are free to explore in any direction that we want. And I think that's the big takeaway from this. And apart from that, at the end of the day, Pizza is pizza, even with pineapple. <laughs> For our last song, we're gonna play another original song called No Fly Zone. Strap in and get ready.
Testing, testing. Do we want one more? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You twisted my arm. <laughs> We're gonna do a classic, and we've got a, we'll see, we'll see where this takes us. We haven't actually rehearsed this one yet, but we always like to keep it free in stage. That's what jazz is, right? Who wants to start it? You want me to start? Okay, fine, fine, I'll start it, I'll start it, I'll start it. Hey, Jez, you want to show them that you don't just play bass? Okay, Fish, fill in, fill in something.
thank you so much. Hope to see you next time. We are so fun tape. Thank you so much. Have a good night.